Alright guys, it's uh, Tuesday afternoon. I don't usually wear sunglasses in the house, but it's uh, bright outside. I'm going to be out there doing a little bit of work, mixing up some of the grout. Yes, we're going to be grouting the uh, shower today and the bathroom. So what I did this morning, well last night I was up late listening to uh, Monday Night Football and I got most of the uh, towels cleaned off in the shower. You can see they got a real nice uh, real nice shine on them there. So I've got a little bit more, uh, more work to do at the bottom, but it's not going to prevent us from uh, grouting today because tomorrow I'd like to be able to uh, maybe seal it and set the toilet and all that. So uh, as you know, I left a perimeter around the side because I have everything sealed real well with the, um, I've already got a bead of caulk down there. I'm not going to worry about any further cracking. There's no risk down there. So I'm going to take the grout all the way to the uh, sides for a good, uh, good uniform finish and uh, get everything real good paying attention to keep the slope. We're going to do a little bit at a time, wipe it off, let it set up with a little while and then come back and do a more thorough wipe off. I'm going to uh, protect my lovely knees here which have always, always in a state of uh, chaos here. I'm going to wear my knee pads today. So I'm outside now. Jen went down to the uh, pharmacy to get her meds. So I'm here with uh, Mike and Ike out here today. My trusty sidekicks. I've already got my uh, grout powder in there so I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, uh, two quarts of water. A little less than two quarts because I always like to hold up back some grout for the uh, future so I remember the color and all that. Also inside there's a few little gaps in the shower stall I want to uh, uh, re-grout to get that grout in real good. So I'm going to mix this up and we'll get going. I've already got my uh, float inside. I've got the water bucket and the sponges. So I'm going to go get my rubber gloves on and get this grout. Right, guys, you up. know with any grout or, uh, or mortar mix, cement, you know you want to mix it up and then you want to let it sit 15 minutes to um, for the composition and all the chemicals to work. And uh, then you want to remix it again. You don't want to use a regular drill. This is a three-quarter horsepower Milwaukee. You will just destroy a regular drill. Mix this up a little bit. Now making sure to get in all the uh, all the sides of the bucket to make sure everything's mixed up. I'm now going to go get my gloves on and get ready. You should always wear gloves when you apply mortar because of some of the caustic. Uh, chemicals and things they add to, uh, to help it harden, okay? Okay, yeah, I got my water tip. bucket at the ready with my sponges and uh, my uh, rag there. So now I want to go and inspect the uh, wall carefully and although I haven't cleaned every single towel as yet, it looks pretty doggone good. All the caulk set good and I just want to see, basically I'm looking for uh, any kind of uh, open spots like right here I don't know how well you can see it's got a little open spot so I'm going to take a little bit and sort of work it into that and then almost immediately I want to take the uh, take the sponge here and just kind of surface wipe that you don't want this stuff to dry on the uh, on the towel and you can see that's been filled a little bit there and then I just go around while the last few minutes of that's setting up real good and just go ahead and make sure I've got everything uh, everything nice and tight in terms of being filled with the uh, grout okay all right you can see I do a little bit at a time there but I really take this grout float I got my knee pads on today and I really work it back and forth and only if, after it's set a few minutes then I come back and kind of uh, scrape off the, uh, the apparent excess here and uh, now I'll go ahead and lightly with the sponge I'll get the damp sponge on the uh, smooth side and I'll just go back here. Actually, 
actually I'll take the rough side first and make sure I get by the walls and all that. Okay, I don't want any of this stuff sticking on the uh, sticking on the walls over there. So I want to get this sponge wrung out real good. And then I'll come back and give another wipe over. I don't want to drop anything down the drain. And you can already see as you do your progressive wipes how nice everything is going to be when it's all done. Just keep wringing and wiping. And I'm just getting the haze and the uh, big stuff off the walls. Because, uh, you know, if you don't get that off, you know, you have a heck of a time getting out off when it's dry. Okay, so I'm going to keep wrapping and keep going here. Alright, so far so good. We've got the uh, shower stall pretty well knocked out. We'll come back when everything's all grouted with a uh, nice fine rag and wipe everything off. So we don't lose a lot of the color detail here, but uh, yeah, I'm going around. I'm being very careful to get that grout spread everywhere in there and around that uh, drain and everything. The grout is your second line of defense behind the sealer that we're going to put on. The grout is critical for preventing uh, moisture and water intrusion. Okay, properly sealed it does a good job. Okay, coming out of the shower. This ring hasn't been set yet so I'm trying to keep the uh, keep the grout kind of clear around there which is fine because uh, there might come a day that's got to be lifted up that ring has got to be changed out toilet flanges go bad all the time the uh, toilet loses its anchoring ability with two small bolts and before you know it you need to put a new get the old flange out and I certainly don't want to put that in so it has to be chipped out and everything so I've been wiping here as I've been going along and it's gone really good we're about halfway done the job Jen's got me set up with some uh, cold beverage here. We got the fan running. So let's uh, let's keep her rolling here. Okay, I know you're saying, how about a quick lesson in uh, grouting, Rosie? Well, grouting's not my favorite thing to do, but when it's done well, it gives you that warm, fuzzy glow. So what you want to do is get a nice scoop of the grout and plunk it right down. And you want to work it east to west across just like that see how I'm working that in and I don't see any uh, any open spots in the tile then you want to come north to south and pull it in the other direction filling any spots you see the grout not only performs a nice leveling job on this uh, small tile in other words give you a comfortable footing to be under and still keep it non-slip which is important to Jen you don't want her to ever step out of a shower and have a slippery surface but it also looks good too and it also performs that additional function of making sure that everything is impervious to uh, water penetration then I just let that sit for a couple minutes I'm working it into the edges to make them nice and uh, yeah, that's, hard. that's the way we do it so uh, we'll get Jen to come in and take a little video in a little bit but this section just give you a little how to and how to grout okay and then after that's uh, set for a few minutes we'll come by with the big uh, sponge and we'll wipe off the top layer and we'll go back with the uh, smaller sponges and finally we have a uh, Jen graciously donated one of her old t-shirts here. We'll go back and finish it all off. Okay? Oh! <laughs> oh we see you. The grouting queen here is doing the grouting. We don't have a lot to go, do we? Yeah, just a little bit more. I'm trying to get a jump today, so tomorrow we might be able to get some of the uh, chooches set here. You know, I bought these. Yeah. I bought the valves and Shut up, all that so, stuff, hmm? and maybe we even get the toilet set as the sealer. Things dry so fast in this climate because of the low humidity. 
here. So just working that grout and keeping that ring free. I don't want that to seal up. So we need to set that ring. Somebody's got to go under the house tomorrow. Yeah. To do the crawl. And there's big spiders. They're small. The yeah, spiders. Big ass spiders this morning. The size every morning. As big as a dinner plate on yeah. the wall. And the, uh, you're thinking, Rosie, you're exaggerating again. So you see how I just worked that grout in? North and south, east and west, and then north and south. Get that working real good. Because this makes the smoothness so when you walk on it. Yeah, it's got to be smooth. smooth. But yet you still have good grip. Yeah. Because I didn't want anything, I didn't want any surface that you would possibly slip. Yeah. So I'm excited to see the, uh, to see the graph going down. So get you to snap a few pictures and we'll be all set. That, that looks beautiful. All right, Roger that. Thank you, honey. And 10 4 over and out. Okay, just like that, in a little under an hour and a half, we're all grouted up. I've got the sponge mop now, and what you want to do is make sure you get that haze off of the top. I started here in the shower stall, and you can see how spank and bright these uh, tiles look. And doesn't this look fantastic with the, uh, with the shower? Now that it's grouted up, it's ultra smooth, and it's going to provide a uh, real great surface. So, we'll finish, uh, finish mopping up here. And then we'll have a few final words on uh, grouting. Kind of warm all of a sudden here this afternoon. But I'll tell you what, guys, the grouting is done. She's all mopped down. I'm going to wait about uh, 15 minutes, and I'm going to give it one final uh, wipe down with the mop here. I'm pleased. Didn't get a lot of schmutz on the wall. One of the problems I had, one of the reasons that I did not want to my buddy Vince back here doing the uh, grouting job here in the bathroom was because... He put so much of that black grout up on the sides of the wall. I had a hell of a time getting that off. But you can see you don't always have to slob all that stuff around to uh, do a good job. So I think uh, tomorrow maybe we'll get the uh, stub outs changed. We'll get them all set and we'll get the shut off valves mounted for under the sink. We'll get the uh, stub out for the toilet changed out. That's a little more visible in that location. I have one stainless one, or I might use it for the uh, shower head. I'm going to ask uh, Jen to do a little investigation and see what we need to get that uh, shower head uh, mounted up. So it was a short one today, but I'm in a great mood because it hasn't been a 10 hour day. <laughs> and I'm, I'm really happy. I'm going to go out and have a shower and uh, call it call it a day. But thanks so much, guys, for being here for a real shorty today. Two hours, and now we've grouted this bathroom. And we'll be all set to uh, seal her up tomorrow morning. I have a spray bottle. I'm going to put the sealer for the uh, clean up a few more tiles in the morning in the shower area. Then we're going to seal her up. And uh, she should be good to go and seal the floor, too. Uh, and it's going to be really good. We can... Uh, we can get, I got the plumber's potty and everything we need. I got to crawl under the house to set the toilet flange. We need to use the ABS cement and uh, get that, remove that again from the floor, cement it, push it in. I'm going to be below pushing on the pipe upward while Jan sort of rocks it back and forth so we get a good seal. And we'll talk about the, how you properly set the flange with the location for the uh, closet bolts, the two bolts that hold the toilet down. So. It's going to be, you know, the whole project is getting fun now, right? Because stuff is coming into a finished kind of position. And that is just uh, totally, totally awesome. So once again, thanks for being here today. The excitement builds as we get closer to wrapping up the Casa Bathroom Renovation Project.